The contemporary digital age is characterized by states of hybridity and convergence. Virtual and physical domains have become deeply intertwined, and the social spaces we occupy increasingly mediate lived experiences, confusing and blurring real versus performative life events. Our GPS-enabled mobile phone applications allow us to be in physical space, but also to mediate the reality of that situatedness. In combination with other social media, we can further inscribe and broadcast our locations, and we can become actors and agents in our own amateur Web 2.0 and Web 3.0 production practices. We are here. Using my handheld device, I can stand in one place while holding and surveying my avatar self in a relocated, dislocated media context. I am inside a map of my own making, and I can redraw the boundaries and borders of my own experience. I am here, and now I am here, and now here. I am abstracted to a digital pinpoint. I am geolocated. I am on my own radar. I can move my bodies through space, and I can watch myself move my bodies through space. I can touch myself to watch myself moving through space. I can read and write my own movements, and you can follow me. I am my own voyeur, my own stalker, and you may also survey me, watching, touching, performing myself. The complex politics of this form of tactile surveillance, being subject and other, seeing and touching oneself and others, while dynamically inscribing our bodies on the move, requires a nuanced attention to technical versus organic functions. What does it mean to be embodied in an age of mixed realities? And to what extent are our affective relations to the digital media that display us at the critical center of such concerns? How does one formulate a critical entry point and navigate the maps, landscapes, texts, and bodies that circulate and proliferate in these mixed realities? The Remapping Moby Project is a creative and critical applied research experiment exploring effective embodiment and tracing its expressive potential in contemporary mixed media, mixed reality experience. The research brings a classic literary text Herman Melville's 1851 Moby Dick, in conversation with contemporary digital mapping and mixed reality media technologies. Using the literary text as an inspirational base text, we are exploring ways to remap the novel onto a collaboratively constructed dynamic map interface that allows users to navigate experiences inspired by the text and to perform these narrative negotiations with an attention to new material reading and writing practices. How does one read and write in mixed reality environments? Who and what is a text, a body, a narrative, and how can it or they perform differently in otherly dislocated contexts? How can we as researchers use our own effective experiences with texts, with locations, to create and to share performative and collaborative practices? These are the questions that engage us. Working with research partners at the Augmented Environments Lab at the Georgia Institute of Technology, our research team at the Blekinge Institute of Technology and at Malmö University are adapting the Argon tool to construct the remapping Mobi experience. The AR tool is used in combination with social media tools and practices, particularly those that enable geotagging and that foreground location-based documentation and inscription, our goal is to create an active intervention in the text based on a distributed locative narrative model, one which foregrounds organic bodies in movement as important agents to situate mediated experiences. Relocated to Karlskrona, Sweden, a small naval town in the southeastern archipelago, the remapping Moby experience is purposely far removed from New Bedford and from Melville's locations at sea, except by illusion. The connections between physical location and narrative are deliberately intersected via the user's personalized interventions in the spaces through which they move. 
Tracing a series of customized walking routes, a user both follows the path of a previous user's reading experiences while leaving traces of her own experiences behind for future walkers or readers. Using an iPad touchscreen and mobile phones to access audio, video, and other augmented media inspired by the text and by the location, the user follows routes mapped to chapters, completes tasks, adds commentary, and documents encounters in the physical space. The documentation is then circulated via social media and fed back into the experience and made available online. Moby Dick, as the base text for the experience, is not accidental. Melville's text overtly navigates among a host of formal structures, deflecting singular narrative perspective and complicating its textual surface in a dizzying rhetorical performative display set against a backdrop of 19th century technical innovation and invention. Call me Ishmael. Call me Ishmael. Call me Ishmael. Call me Ishmael. Remapping the text, figuratively and literally, in a collaborative digital context, continues a tradition of embodied innovation initiated by Melville in his great, unwieldy, fleshy whale of a text. Now augmented by the principles of new materialism and post-human interventions, and by the affordances of contemporary mixed media culture, new bodies may also come into play and actively relocate, dislocate, circulate, and resituate the expressive experiences engaged by the narrative. <laughs>